The ancient world is one of the most fascinating times in human history. There are so many areas of the world that remain unexplored and undiscovered. But with new technology and modern science, we're learning more about the ancient world than we ever have before. Even if the information we discover is not life-changing, it can help us gain new insight into how humans once lived and provide explanations to long-running mysteries. Ancient Japanese Statue it was recently reported on Japanese television that researchers discovered something amazing inside a Buddha statue in Japan. Researchers from Nara University were studying the statue when they found at least 180 artifacts that had been sealed inside of it. The huge statue is normally kept safe in the Hokkeji Temple. This temple is located in the capital of Nara Prefecture and is highly protected year-round. Inside the statue, they found at least 150 objects throughout the figure's body and another 30 inside of its head. This led all of the researchers to wonder why someone would have hidden objects inside the statue. What could this mean? If these objects were super valuable, why not hide them elsewhere? It seems super odd that they would be forged inside of a statue that may never again be opened. The chief clergyman of the temple had no idea that these relics had been cast inside the statue. The temple was built back in the 8th century, so we have no idea who could have put them there or why they were put there in the first place. We know that residents of Nara were doing their best to study and spread the idea of Buddhism in Japan, and the temple was home to all sorts of valuable items at the time. These are just a few of the hundreds of artifacts that have been found in the temple throughout the years. After scanning the statue using super complicated cameras, they found that a large cavity had been carved in the statue that reached all the way from the floor to the top of the head. They weren't able to determine what the objects were, but they were certainly placed there for a reason. This new mystery has increased the public's interest in the statue and raised its value substantially. It would be amazing if we were able to open the statue and remove the items inside, but the temple is unwilling to risk damaging the statue in order to open it. We definitely understand. It would be crazy to destroy a statue that's hundreds of years old simply to retrieve a few trinkets from the inside. 200,000 Bronze Coins A group of Japanese archaeologists made the discovery of the century when they found a small vessel from the time period of the samurai. They opened it up to find that it was filled with about 200,000 coins that are likely worth millions of dollars. The pottery was found in the Saitama Prefecture, just north of Tokyo. This is one of the most incredible and life-changing finds in the area, changing the course of history forever. Experts believe the coins date back to the 15th century, and at least 100,000 of the bronze coins are about 60 centimeters wide. To make the mystery even more interesting, the researchers also found a wooden plaque next to the pot that simply read 260. We don't know what this means, but that's beside the point. This is an amazing thing to find. Archaeologists have made their best guess, and they say that 260 means there used to be about 260,000 coins inside the pottery. The coins were found just two meters below the ground, so it's amazing that no one had ever found them before now. They believe that the coins were buried there to hide them away from enemies of the samurai who were trying to steal their valuables and treasures. A civil war had broken out at the time and threatened areas across the country. By the 15th century, several different clans were competing for power, each one more powerful than the last. This went on for many years, completely decimating many areas across the country. There were also ninja assassins that were running rampant across the country, so it makes sense that the samurai would have buried their gold to keep it away from any enemy's hands. At the moment, just 70 coins have been examined, but we expect to hear more about these coins in the near future. 
we don't know for sure how valuable they are, but it's safe to assume that they would be worth tens of millions of dollars if they're ever sold. 3,500-year-old Desert Grave Archaeologists found a grave that they claim is at least 3,500 years old in a remote area of Egypt. They claim that the grave is the final resting place for at least 50 to 60 ancient Egyptians, though we don't know if any of these people held political significance during the time. The team made the discovery public in December of 2018, but they say they were aware of the graves at least two years earlier. We don't know why they waited so long to dig them up, but hey, you can't rush something like this. This is an incredible discovery. The graves were found along a narrow area of the Nile, about 65 kilometers from Aswan. The leader of the group of excavators says that the grave was about 5 meters deep, much deeper than your average grave, and part of it had been carved into the rock. Whoever these people were, the ancient Egyptians took a lot of time and care to bury them properly. The problem with these graves is that they have been seriously contaminated over time. Water from the nearby river had begun to rush into the crypt, so most of the grave was completely underwater. They brought in a few high-powered pumps to get most of the water out but the damage had already been done. According to historic records and what we know about ancient Egypt, the head of the investigation says that there should not have been anyone buried in this area. There were a large number of women and children among the dead, so it's possible these bodies belong to an entire civilization of people who have since been forgotten about. Researchers are still working hard to uncover more about these people, as there are still more graves to excavate and more areas of the crypt that need to be explored. We hope to find out more very soon, but it will likely take several years before we have any more answers. Treaty in Akkadian Script on a Clay Tablet A headline readout, ancient artifacts unearthed in the fortress of Bahrain. Trade Arabia wrote about this discovery after they found a clay tablet that had been inscribed with the treaty text while they were conducting other investigations. Researchers have been excavating this area since way back in 1954. Most of their discoveries have been pretty boring and normal, but every now and then they come across something amazing, and this was definitely one of those times. They're working to excavate large areas of land near the fortress of Bahrain, but it takes a long time to do this without causing damage to any artifacts or landscapes nearby. This area can be found near the Arabian Peninsula and has been listed as a World Heritage Site since back in 2008. They've been focusing a lot of their time on a hill that is about 12 meters high. This area has been home to all sorts of amazing finds over the years, and they're hoping to learn even more about the land as they continue to dig into the hillside. The hill is made up of at least seven layers that were placed here by residents back in 2300 BC. These layers were used to reinforce the fortress to keep enemies far away from the city. This area remained in use up until the 18th century, more than 3,000 years later. The clay contract that they found was believed to have been written in either 503 BC or 504 BC. It was pretty normal for contracts like this to include the names of the cities that the treaty involved, often inscribing them on the back of the plaque. The issue with this tablet is that the back of it is very damaged, so we have no idea who the treaty involved. Either way, this is an amazing, once-in-a-lifetime find that makes all of this hard work throughout the decades worth it. 16,700-year-old tools Archaeologists found a set of tools that had been buried and lost to time in Texas. This may not seem too exciting, 
but they quickly learned that the tools date back 16,700 years. We know that our current dating equipment is not incredibly accurate in the grand scheme of things, but either way, these tools predate American history by thousands of years. Up to this point, we assume that the first people to have settled in North America would have been the Clovis culture. However, these tools turn American history on its head and prove that there were people living and thriving in America long before the Clovis culture claimed the land. The tools were sent off to be dated, and the researchers concluded that the estimated date of 16,700 years is is correct. We don't know much about the tools yet, but we hope to learn more about their origins and who created them in the coming years. Just imagine being on a team of researchers when you find an artifact like this that completely rewrites history. It must be such an amazing feeling to be part of an investigative crew like that. A Rich Grave from the Celtic Iron Age Back in 2005, a team of researchers in France excavated a tomb that was the resting place of a wealthy prince from the 5th century. His burial site was found to contain a chariot, a bronze cauldron, a huge knife, and a vase that was decorated with the Greek god of wind and ecstasy of Dionysus. This was one of the most remarkable finds to ever be located. The burial site was found over 40 meters before a hill on the edge of a Lavau Park. It had originally been surrounded by a moat. There were a total of 7,000 square meters of the area to cover, making this burial ground larger than most cathedrals in the area. A team of researchers was only able to find small portions of the man who had been buried, so they're still working to uncover the mystery of who this man really was and why he was so important to warrant such a large burial. Ariel. Do you know of any amazing discoveries that we didn't cover in this video? Let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.